What's up you guys, it's Amber Amber's Closet and today we're going to do story time. And the reason why I decided to do the story time is one, we haven't done it in a long time and number two, I have been replying to you guys either on Sublime or through emails a lot lately about me being in similar situations as you guys, either being played or being cheated on and I thought why not just tell the masses about my pain and suffering and depression that I went through. I'll just share it with you guys. Let's start with my first actual girlfriend. Um, this is my first real actual relationship. We were with each other for almost three years on and off. It was just really crazy and she was a stem. She was a basketball player. We were very much of the same, which could have been the problem. But anyways, so we were broke up um, for like a few months and it took me like this whole summer to like get over her. It was just like the worst thing ever and then she came back, she begged for me back and then I decided to try again. But some of the issues that I had was that she kicked it with her teammates way too much. We both played college basketball. She played at a rival college that I played at and she was just with her teammates a little too much and sometimes it was very sketch. There was just certain situations where I just felt like she needed to put me first and maybe hang out with me, invite me with her teammates or just let me know sometimes what they did. So, you know those people where their phones conveniently die at the times that you really need to hear from them yeah so that happened one time on a Friday or a Saturday night and I just got so sick and tired of it and my teammates hit me up and they wanted to go to the club so I was like all right let's go to the club so we went to the club and while I'm standing there with my friends literally me and my homies are standing right here just do 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 who walks in front of me with this girl holding her hand just pulling behind my girlfriend right Weird, right? But right away, I get upset. I mean, we're at the club, we're drinking, whatever. So I get upset. So I walk over and I'm just like, are you kidding me? I'm hella mad, cause like, I'm embarrassed at this point. Like, everybody knows me at this club. So like, I just touch her like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the hell is going on? She turns around and looks at me like, I'm crazy, right? She's like, oh my God, calm down. Like, blah, 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 it's just my teammate. I don't care. Why are you holding your teammate's hand, right? So I blew up, I got mad, that she started talking to one of my best friends or whatever, trying to explain the situation. Supposedly, it was her best friend that was straight, and she was scared to be in the club, blah blah blah. I didn't believe it for a second, right? She made me feel like, oh, okay, I was tripping, I was overthinking it, and blah blah blah, and I was tripping. So then she made me feel like, oh my god, like, I was wrong for, you know, coming at her like that in front of the club. So the next day, I went to go bring her some flowers at her house, right? So long story short, like, I'm at the door, knock on the door, nothing, right? Nothing. I'm like, what the heck? Go and look. Her car is at her apartment building. So I'm like, oh, okay. She falls asleep a lot. So I'm like, all right, maybe she's asleep. So I go to her bedroom window, knock on the window, nothing, right? So I'm like, all right, wait a few minutes, go back to her front door. I'm calling her, whatever, nothing. So then the last time right before I leave, cause she lives far from me. So I didn't want to make this trip like anything. So I try to give it some effort, especially I had some flowers and shit in my hand, right? So I go back to the her window of her bedroom door, right? I can hear her phone, like the the window is open, right? But it's a high window. And I can hear her phone ringing. I'm just trying to figure out. So then I start to try, try to yell her name a little bit, right? The wind blows the blinds open and I see two people laying in her bed. Those are not my legs in the bed with her at this point. So now I'm like, are you kidding me? So I hit the window and I was like, are you kidding me? Get out here, blah, blah, blah. I hit the window a second time. It might have broke. Listen, I wasn't trying to break the window. Like, I'm just upset at this point. Like, it was an old ass building. I mean, oh my God, I didn't even mean to. It sucked. It just a random thing that happened. I go race around. I'm hella mad. I'm ready to just like take flight at this point, right? I'm just so mad. I can't even believe I've been dissed like this. And then right away, the, you know what I'm saying? Of course, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. You know what I'm saying? The other one, the, the person that she had in the bed didn't even come out because they're scared. But one of her other teammates were in the living room, like trying to calm me down, like I'm crazy. I didn't see other legs in the bed with her, or whatever, right? Because she just couldn't admit that she was a fuck face. So, long story short, I cut myself. That really sucked. So, yeah, don't judge me about the window. Shit happens, you know, like shit. Another story that I have to tell you actually takes place in between the time that I was just telling you about of me getting over my ex, right? I had this like best friend that I called a little sister basically because I was a senior when she was a freshman the first time and you know, I kind of took her under my mean we were really, really cool, we were really close. So anyways, let's call her Bill, right? And so I started to date this girl named Bob, right? The only person that knew that I dated this girl named Bob was Bill. And she fell in love very quickly, but I still wasn't over that one ex, but this person was close to perfect. And Bob was very, very young and I noticed that stuff. And then also, you know, my other ex started to come back and it was just like crazy. So long story short, we kind of split it up, but it was hard. So I came up to my game one night because Bill invited me to one of the games because I haven't been in a long time. I went with my best friend that I was always with at the time 
time that used to date Bill once upon a time in college when we were on the same basketball team. So we came out, we were watching the game. At halftime, one of my old teammates come, came to greet me, started talking to me about stuff because she was redshirting, so she wasn't in the locker room or whatever, and started telling me, and long story short, she started telling me the drama that, of the what's happening this season, and she proceeds to tell me that Bill and Bob got caught messing around by one of the other teammates of ours. And I just couldn't even believe it. Like, she has no idea that she's talking to the ex-girlfriend of Bob, and Bill is damn near my best friend. And what I'm sitting next to, Bill's ex-girlfriend. Do you see how awkward this is? The ex-girlfriend doesn't want to hear about the ex-girlfriend moving on, number one. And nobody wants to hear about the ex-girlfriend, my good friend, messing around with my ex-girlfriend. Does that make any sense? It was so raggedy, so all I could do is sit there and just like huff and puff and get mad, blah, blah, blah. Not only that, but like a few minutes later, that Bob girl walks into the gym and sits down on the benches because she got in trouble and now she's not on the team. Hell random. Do you know how crazy it was to be invited by a backstabber messing around with the ex that I just broke up with, which was really hard and drama to let go, right? That's number one. There, and I was like, wow. So I left at halftime and the nerve of Bill to text me like, why did you leave? Because you, f my ex-girlfriend, you backstabbing ass, fake ass friend. I mean, I have more of these stories to tell you guys. Like, I can't even believe how many times that I've actually had people that I consider good friends or people that I would like give almost everything to just <laughs> me in the back or whatever and it really sucks it sucks to be cheated on it sucks to be played it sucks you know whatever whatever it happens to the best of us and we just literally need to like learn from our experiences and move on that's really about it so all these situations really sucked I learned something from it as far as being able to read people and making sure I don't get in those situations again you know what I mean so anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys I hope that you guys are entertained by my pain all right I'll see you guys soon tomorrow all right love you guys Peace. Well, I didn't get my Jordan 11s that just came out this past weekend, but I got the hookup with OnlyJays.com and I got these ones which are pretty much the same color as the other ones that just came out or whatever. So I feel a little bit better. So I just wanted to tell you guys about this website because I've been getting my Jordans through there. Some are pricey, but they have some that other websites don't have. So I'm going to put the website down below. If you guys like my unicorn shirt, I'm going to have the link down below for that one too. All right.